with an immortal soul in his body. He has an immortal soul, and that's not mortal. That's most important. If an unbeliever fails to understand that, then he is the person who is not fit to be born in the image of God. You as a believer, and he as an unbeliever should realize the soul which is in you is mortal, is immortal, it is not mortal. So the responsibility for you towards the divine breath that you take, the responsibility of you as a believer, the soul which is there in you, which can feed you into the spiritual truth, when you believe the gospel by saying, yes, Lord, I obey the gospel and I do accept Lord as my savior, that could be happened only in your soul when the soul compromises in your thinking and in your volition you accept to believe in the Lord.